We're in talk mode and we're back with another book review. Today we are reviewing The Osterman Weekend by Robert Ludlum. Ludlum. Um, He's the guy who wrote Jason Bourne, if you've ever watched those Matt Damon movies. Right, this book is waning at 250 pages. So it's a fairly slightly smaller book than what my new usual length is. However, I feel like the font is a lot closer together, so it might actually end up being about the same size as some of the other books. This book was first published in 1972, so it's quite an old one. And it is quite apparent in in the way it's written and uh, the technology mentioned in the stories, etc. Let me just read the blurb for you to start off. So we've got a little quote at the top. No one was guarding his house. No one guarding his wife and children. In a secret room in Washington, D.C., a man named John Tanner is asked to stake his life and those of his wife and children on a deadly gamble with goals and risks no one will fully reveal to him. Back home in a small suburban town, he is joined by a group of friends for a long weekend. But what secrets do these men hide? Could they really be part of a monstrous conspiracy of international evil? At stake is the very existence of America and the future of the entire free world. I think this was a pretty decent book. It is uh, kind of a, a mystery, suspense kind of book. You can't trust uh, anyone and you don't know what anyone's motives are. As the... Um, as the blurb alludes to, and it really, I, I, I quite enjoyed it. It's quite a well-paced story, um, a little bit different to the normal books that I, I, I would read, um, but I quite enjoyed it. And being from Robert Ludlum, I kind of had to pick it up to check it out because I do love Jason Bourne, um, and kind of makes you question sometimes. What do you really know about the people around you? Like in this book, they kind of, kind of the the protagonist is questioning that throughout the story. What does he really know? And uh, it does make you think that like, you don't really know what's going on in someone's life or what they get up to or what dodgy dealings they're involved in. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty interesting for me on my review scale. This is going to be a solid three. It's a good book. It's a good book. If you like suspense, uh, um, mystery, trying to figure out what's happening, this is a good book. Um, So yeah, I'd recommend it. That's it for this one. We'll be back with another one very, very soon. Please let me know if you have read this book, what you think of it. Um, Let me know if you feel like I need to add uh, something else into these reviews that would help you make a decision whether you want to read this book. Um, thank you guys very much for listening. I'll see you on the next one. Find me at Wild Originals on Twitter and Instagram. Take care. Goodbye.